I believe these are cotton fields. I saw little piles of white stuff. It almost looked like little gravel along the edge of the field. And I think it was cotton that had been, um, whatever, fallen or dropped out. And it was all mashed down from the rain. Look at how the, the trees are shorter here. I was looking at where we are to see where my car is and see where the blue ocean is. So it's very low lying. It's very saturated. We've had a lot of rain. They've had a lot of rain, not me. I don't belong. So our location, I don't know where we are. Coming up to Washington, I think. Washington, North Carolina. I passed a trailer back there and my camera wasn't working. It had turned off. And there was a tree that had smashed the trailer in half and it was still laying on the trailer. You don't often see that, you know. Things are cleaned up so quickly and moved away. And you may see damage, but not exactly the way it was after it happened. told me there's so many trailers down here because it's cheaper. Beaufort County, leaving Martin County. That's corn. Or sorghum. Imagine it's corn. Looking at these old, old buildings all falling down. I always want to live in a house like that. Now look at these little sheds. I think those are... Um, please, somebody please tell me what they are. I think they're for tobacco curing. At least when I lived here, there was something like that that was for that. But I don't know. I didn't live here. I lived in Georgia. My dad took me on drives out in the country, otherwise I would never have seen cotton gins and things like that. The water is so close to the surface.
would die of consumption. I went from, when I was in Mary Washington University, or yeah, the home of Mary Washington. I went for a tour of Mary Washington's home. Mary Washington was the mother of George. And when I was in there, they showed how at the table they would have a washing bowl. It was a little bowl of water and everybody would take their wine glass, dip it in and spin it. And that would clean their glass ready for the next course. And I think that maybe had something to do with why so many people died of the consumption, you know, which was the flu. It looks like the germs were spread around pretty well. You'd think with all that good soap they had, that people, you know, homemade soap, that people would not have had so much germ to worry about. However, since you had to go and get your water, the water was not um, as easy as just turning on the tap, stick your hands under and you're clean. They probably reused the same water a bit. When I was out of electricity, we used reused the same water. What does and will God require of you? I'll let this guy go past. It was very interesting being in um, Fredericksburg, Virginia and seeing all that about the Washingtons. And being in the house that George um, built for built on to for his mother. That was really interesting. He was he was good to his mother. Okay, bye. Lots of white sand. Coming up to Washington, North Carolina. I made a mistake and I'm going over this very big bridge. Very, very long bridge. It must be a new bridge because it's not found on my map. She's all got herself in a snit about where I am. But it goes forever. I can't believe how big it is. That's very marshy down there. Boy, this must have been quite the thing to build. A divided four-lane bridge. North Carolina, eleven seventeen. Oh, now I'm crossing this other road, which I guess is down there in the valley. of the ocean have come in. Recalculating. Continue 600 meters. Then turn right on US 17. Recalculating. Drop 22 kilometers on US 17. I'm not even on a, on a divided highway. Boy, what a bridge. Look how far back it goes. Forever and ever and ever. Whoa. Please try to highlight it. See, it wants me to go over there. It doesn't know about this highway. I guess I would have to download a new map, pay 50 bucks, but I haven't done that because I don't really want to spend 50 bucks on it. Recalculating. There's a bird up there. Looks like a, a vulture, maybe a black vulture. Please drive to highlight it. I'm on the US 17 bypass of New Bern. South Bypass 17. It's a lot of interesting things I keep seeing along here, but there's boring stuff in between, so I don't feel like filming it all. Let's see what I can see. I think I'm gonna. I've been doing is making short little videos when I see something interesting and then turning it off and then later I'll just put them all together. I saw a field of um, a field of crows. There's a million crows covering a field. There's some robins. There's a whole field of robins in there. 
a lot of falling down buildings. Oh, look at those interesting trees. These little, um, whatever they call them when they cut them off like that. I forget what that's called. Very marshy in here. Almost looks like cypress trees down in the water with those big fat bottoms. But then it goes away, you see, and now it's not like that anymore. There's a car right on my tail. I don't know what he hopes to accomplish. I mean, he could pass at any time. Why don't I just put my brakes on and then he can pass? I'll just pull over and you can pass here. She feels like it. Okay, there you go, sir. Your fast car. See, here's one of those places I should turn off the camera.